Hello Wet Shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If this is your first time watching, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And today, we're going to do a shave with Shaving Shop Club The Kingdom. And this is in Kaizen 2, 4 ounces of Kaizen 2. I am a Shaving Shop Club member, so I do believe I paid $19.96 for this. It's supposed to be based on uh, Creed Royal Oud. It's an oriental woody fragrance. I've never smelled Creed Royal Oud, so that's neither here nor there. But we'll talk about the scent uh, in more detail during the shave. So that'll be the soap for today. We got the matching aftershave from Shaving Shop Club. We're gonna use the Razor Rock Mamba 70. 0.70 millimeter blade gap with the bulldog handle. I've been getting a lot of good uh, shaves with that lately. We're going to try some feather blades in the shave today. We're going to put a fresh feather blade in there. And for the brush is going to be this 24 millimeter fake horn from uh, AP Shave Co. And this has their new-ish uh, G5A knot, which is a SHD style knot. So it's really dense and uh, it's got a lot of backbone. This one got set maybe a little lower than I would have preferred, but we're going to take it and uh, put it through its paces. So it's a new, newish brush to the uh, Soap Thing project. So let's get all this together and let's have a shave today. Okay, per our usual arrangements, we have the bowl and the brush and the spray bottle. So we're just going to take a few sprays and put it in here and we're going to see how it lathers. sprays on this one. I shouldn't have to put very much more water in it, but we'll see. There is some residual soap uh, sitting at the bottom of the bowl, so I might put some more water in just to, just to break that loose. Actually, one moment. This is what the pour looks like. As you can see, I've uh, used this before, lathered it before. So it might need just a little bit more water than this to, to get a good shave out of it, but I could probably make do with what I have and it would do okay. But we're gonna see what performance we can get out of it. people have noted that I tend to under hydrate my soaps anyway so we're just gonna see what we can do with this. Still a lot of residual soap in the bottom but I don't think we're gonna we're gonna necessarily need it. This is coming together quite well. I mean, the, the structure, the, uh, the volume of the lather is is decent. I wouldn't say it, it explodes into volume, but it's definitely not pasty like a, uh, a first line shave or maybe a Shannon soap. It does uh, build up a fair bit of volume. A little bit more. I think we're almost done here. To an extent, the longer you do this, the more robust a lather you're going to get. So. Oh yeah, that's good to go. All right, let's do the shave. Okay, I've actually lost track of how many days growth I have. My best guess is probably six. I just got back from vacation in Michigan visiting my family and I only did a shave once over there so probably six days growth. Uh, let's smell the kingdom. Scent strength on this is probably a one out of three so low scent strength. We're going to fill up the sink with water and then put some chiseled face pre-shave on the face. Uh, 
I always forget to fill the sink before I start the camera roll, but whatever. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of water on the face. Chase that with some chiseled face pre-shaved gel. And this stuff, I've talked about it before, but this stuff has quite the snotty <laughs> consistency. It is water-based, so it's not going to be all oily and scummy and nasty and leave hair and oil and stuff everywhere. So. Okay. We're going to lather this up, put it on the face, and then we'll talk more about the, uh, the scent profile. I am just coming off of, uh, a few weeks ago I did Murphy and McNeil Infinitus Cypress, and that was the, uh, excuse me, the Kodiak base. So now I'm doing another uh, elite quality uh, shaving soap base, so I'm, I'm kind of, with that, with Kodiak fresh in my mind, I want to see how Kaizen 2 is uh, compared to that. So... Okay, we got a fresh feather blade. Let's see how it cuts through this uh, five, six-ish days of growth. Here we go, first couple strokes. That's like butter. I better be careful, this stuff is, this, this blade is no joke. All right, um, over here. So the scent on this, is let me tell you the, the notes that I get. I do get a touch, just a touch, of oud and musk. It's definitely not not competing for attention. <clears throat> I get the uh, I get the berries a little bit. There's some dried fruit notes in there. I get the cedar wood and the sandalwood, no problem at all. It's actually quite labdanum heavy, for being honest. I mean, it'll that gives it this uh, kind of green balsamic sort of vibe. It's not bad. It's a good scent. I can just tell it's unbalanced. So, but unbalanced doesn't mean bad. You know, some some scents can pull that off. Feather blade is just tearing through the hair. It's crazy. Oh. I'm not sure I'd want to do this on 24 hours growth because I've had feather blades hack me apart before. The slickness and uh, hydration on this is pretty excellent. Would I go so far as to say it's on the level of Kodiak? No, probably not. I used a, that Kodiak base a handful of times after I did the video. And every time I used it, I was more and more impressed. Like, I think that one's going to be hard to beat. toilet started running. That's weird. <laughs> All right. Let me see if that's going to shut off on its own. One second. Okay, I had to take a pause for the cause to uh, get the toilet to stop running, but let's uh, apply the lather again and do a second pass on the face today.
Earlier I meant to say uh, galbanum. I think I accidentally said labdanum, but uh, galbanum is the word I was going for. But yeah, it gives it this uh, semi-sweet, kind of green balsamic sort of sort of vibe. And I think between that and the berries gives it this kind of woody, sweet, oriental sort of situation. But it's good. It's definitely a good scent. Slickness is great. I think it's part of the reason why I'm able to use this feather blade and it's not um, giving me trouble, at least not yet, knock on wood. So I do I usually do one pass with the grain and then a second pass that's kind of a across the grain in most places and then a little bit of a cleanup pass. It's just kind of me touching up everything. Oh, let's go up here. See what we got. Okay, across the lip. Now both the Kaizen 2 base for this uh, shaving shop club and the Kodiak base from Murphy and McNeil, neither of those are that easy to get. I mean, at the moment, in order to get most anything in Kaizen 2, at least at the time this is being filmed, you have to be a shaving shop club member. Uh, and then the Kodiak from Murphy and McNeil is uh, an on-again, off-again base that they only release occasionally. Like when they come out with a new scent or reintroduce an old scent that was gone before and now it's back. The first batch will often be in... Uh, Kodiak, so, but just uh, where the rubber meets the road, both of these are darn slick. They really are, uh, but I gotta say Kodiak is better, like, and inevitably somebody's gonna stumble across this and get all butt hurt, but that's how I feel about it. Touching up there required a little bit of extra soap. Oh, how are we doing over here? I'll take that. That's good enough. Okay. Let's have a rinse and come back for the alum block and my final thoughts on Ariana and Evans or the club, the kingdom. Okay, time for the Razor Rock Alum Block. Just a little bit in this little strip right here. There's some stinging uh, everywhere else. Doesn't feel like hardly anything, so I'd say that's good to go. So that's the Ellen Block report card for this shave today.
Okay, time for the aftershave. Ariana and Evans, The Kingdom. Okay. Well, this feels soothing on the face. Let me see, is there alcohol in this? Yeah, there's alcohol, and it didn't feel like a darn thing, so no, no stinging on that. So that must have been a must have been a good shave. Okay, what are my final thoughts on the club, the kingdom? My usual question: If I exhausted this to an empty tub and it was still available, would I buy it again? And with this one, ugh. Oh, Probably, only because I am partial to woody scents. If I had to pick a scent category to name as my favorite, it would be woody scents. And this one is smooth and creamy and woody, warm, oriental sort of thing, like I've said before. My biggest complaint with it is scent strength, which is bizarre. Because it's, it's Ariana and Evans, and... It, or the shaving shop club, it's all the same, it's all the same uh, stuff. But like, normally, they like knock your socks off. But this one is like, no. No, it's, it's not quite scented enough. So that, that puts it into the uh, yes but barely category. If, there, if, if this thing, if I didn't get a good, as good a shave as I got, or the scent strength was any less or it was any harder to lather it'd be a no so this is like a barely yes kind of kind of thing so that's my uh opinion on the club the kingdom i want to thank everybody for watching and until next time this is soap thing telling you shave like you mean it thanks for watching